plane crash near 103rd and Cortland in Wauwatosa. We have a crew right now on the scene there where the Wauwatosa Fire Department is responding. So I want to get to our Tony Atkins right there on the scene on the ground there. Tony, what are you seeing? Obviously a very uh, heavy presence there. That's right. Right now, this is an amazingly large scene. If you take a look right over my shoulder, you can see all of the onlookers trying to figure out how this all happened. Right behind the onlookers, you can see that sea of red and that sea of blue as first responders here made it to the scene. This is all because of what happened here in one backyard here on this block. Take a look right there. You can see a plane somehow landed in the yard of this home here. Uh, it doesn't appear that it hit the home nor the garage, nor any electric lines. Uh, I did speak with one person in the neighborhood. She said she was able to see one person being removed from the plane alive. So that's some good news. Obviously, we still have more to learn about this, but let's uh, speak to somebody who was here firsthand. Alex, you, you live across the street. You have your baby here. Tell me, what did you see and what did you hear? Um, I didn't see the plane crash, but we heard it. Mm -hmm. um, we were in the backyard. Uh, the plane has been flying all day, uh, or much of the day, uh, and I heard the plane, and then silence for half a second, and then a large thud. And mm -hmm. uh, we didn't see any smoke, we didn't see anything, and we thought it was me and many of the neighbors thought it was a car crash and we all came out here looking for the thud and then we saw a plane in a backyard. How long did it take you to see the plane? Because if there was no scene here, me personally, I wouldn't have noticed that behind this home. Like how long did it take you to notice that plane back there? Um, not very long. Um, I, I, it's not far from our house, so I just walked down the street looking for a car or something to figure out what had happened and then there was a plane and so um, I started calling 911 but there was already half a dozen other people on the phone with them. That's Alex Ann Davis uh, just lives right across the street. Just before my live shot, Simone, I did have the chance to speak to a deputy here on the scene. He says that there is going to be a media staging area set up just down the road. So we expect more about what happened here tonight. I'll have that coming up later as we progress into the evening. For now, I'm live on 103rd in Cortland. Tony Atkins, TMJ for News. Right, Tony, pretty, pretty, pretty scary. You heard him speak with a woman there. She talked about one person being removed. She said that person was alive, but she did hear a large, uh, a loud thump, a loud sound. So we want to get to our Bruce Harrison. He's also there on the scene. Bruce, what are you seeing from your viewpoint? I'm imagining you're in a different direction of where Tony is right now. Yeah, not too far from Tony. I'm at 101st in Cortland, so just two blocks away, roughly. And we were able to come up on um, from the back of the scene where he's situated right now. And you can see that they have taped all those homes off. And if you walk up some of those driveways and go far enough into the backyard, you will be able to see the downed plane. We were back there probably only a few minutes before police came and ushered us and some other uh, people who came to check it out back to where we stand now in 101st in Cortland and uh, the plane a total loss um, largely in one piece uh, but from what we could tell um, destroyed um, and I spoke to a local aviator as well as a uh, air traffic controller uh, who tells us that off runway 22 a lot of planes fly southwest while they're taking off. And that would be the direction this plane appears to have been heading. I spoke to a few others who say they heard and saw that this appeared to be a takeoff um, just from the airport, Timberman, not too far away, and that the, uh, the pilot didn't make it very far before crashing here, uh, just along closer to Tony's side, 103rd Street. Um, but that's what I've been able to pull together so far. Um, I spoke with one resident. She told me that um, She's lived here for 19 years, and this is the first plane crash she's ever uh, had in this neighborhood, and she lives just by the neighborhood. I'll throw it back to you in the studio now. Yeah, let's hope it's the last. Uh, information there, uh, we hear that, uh, of course, that plane crashed there in Wauwatosa. It's near 103rd Street. 
um, as he talked about right there. Speaking with people in the neighborhood, of course, we will be bringing you the very latest after speaking with people there and getting information from police as well, as that is a very large scene there. Be sure to join us, of course, on air.